Hey Gospel Guitarist here with uh, an installation update to the uh, Behringer FCB 1010 MIDI controller. I'm going to install the new EEPROM chip that I just received in that packet to the right there by the screwdriver. In the packet what you'll get is the chip and it's attached to a sticker sheet for the pedals. So you can put place these little stickers on your pedals after you get it all set up the way you want it to. And it comes with the EEPROM overlay right here as well. So the first step you're going to do is remove the back. Now one of the things you're going to do is you're going to go to EurekaSound.com to their setup page which is what you're seeing here. It will tell you how to remove the bottom of the unit and install the chip. And they have videos too. I just thought I'd do the same and make a video too. So. Okay, one of the things I've noticed is that the screws on the ends of the unit are longer than the unit at the uh, top and bottom sides and the six that are in the center of the unit they're all small but on the very end of the unit you have longer screws so don't mess those up okay so here we have the unit open you want to be careful the yellow wire that one is attached to the back bottom right here it's like a ground it's pretty metal casing and other than that it just comes right off as you can see there's nothing on the bottom casing nothing's attached there but those six screws attached to these in the middle of the uh, unit for support. And the chip is right there. So that will be getting pulled and put the new one in. Okay, now using a screwdriver or what I'm using is my trusty little pocket knife. You want to start on one end and then go back to the other end and on this end as you can see we've got some electronics here so we want to I like this or a small screwdriver because you can get in between here and pop that up and you don't want to be careless because you want to preserve your chip if at all possible even though it's old um, the other one could go bad on you and you got to back up this way so be very careful popping that out so you don't bend any of these prongs. And then just set that aside. And I like to just make sure everything's okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put this new chip in in the same orientation as the old one. Now there's a little cir half circle notch at one end. And um, so if you're reading the chip upright then the notch will be on the right side. So you want to very carefully remove that from the rubber there. Stick your old one into the rubber padding to protect it for storage. So now it's ready to safely go away with my Digitech and other units EEPROMs that I've upgraded over the last couple of years. And you want to very carefully line up your teeth here and evenly pressure it into place and you might want to stand up like that to make sure you're going to get them all in the right position I'm going to start on this side and this is the side I can see so nice even pressure and you don't want to push really hard because you're going to bend this board so just get it in there and that's it for the install. Put the cover back on and we're ready to rock. Okay now, it's back together and we're going to put this decal on. Um, one of the things you're going to want to do is remove the little square boxes where the LEDs are going to shine through <laughs> so you want to get rid of these little guys before you put that on it just be easier because this way you can bend the paper and get them out a lot easier 
Okay, got the holes punched out and I can see that there's only going to be five of these LEDs that are used now. So you want to line this up pretty perfectly. Pretty perfectly? Per pretty perfect? Per perfectly? It feels like if you mess it up you can just take it right back off. So it's not like a super permanent glue on here. It seems like you could just reposition this. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty sticky, but it's not like you mess it up and you can't get it back off. So just be careful. You can see the LEDs through this when you're putting it on and lining it up. So make sure that you get them all lined up right. It's a pretty accurate fit. This label perfectly fits the plastic on the front of the unit. So they did a really, really good job at making this label that accurate. It's perfect. And now I got a new face plate on the new operations, which says MIDI here, EF effects, PR for presets, FP for favorite presets, and SP for specials. That's the four modes that are available in the new EEPROM. So it's ready to go. So a lot of time for today, but next week I'm going to go into seeing what I can do with programming it. So be looking forward to videos on that. I'm going to configure it first for my Boss GX700. And lots of questions are asked about this unit and that unit working together. And nobody can seem to do what they want with it. And so I want to see if I can set it up to where 1 through 5 is my uh, effects and 6 through 10 are my patches. So I'll start there and see where I go. So thanks for watching. Hope you found it helpful. And tune in next week. Uh, hopefully we'll have a video out showing the boot up and everything like that. So thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe and like and share the video. Catch you next week. Booting up the system here which I decided to go ahead and put at the end of the video just to show you that yes it does work <laughs> the only thing that's missing right now is that when you first turn it on it does alternate between the letters CL and dash dash that means it's clearing the memory CL for clear it's clearing all the memory out and once it's done doing that it will wait for your input for further setup